And it's now time for the Billy C Show. Part of the BillyCBoxing.com network. And we're coming to you live from the Billy C Studios in Lake George, New York. I'm Bill Caliger, and it's time for the Talking Boxing with Billy C Show, or the Billy C Show, whatever you want to call it, or the Billy C Post Fight Show, whatever you want to call it. Uh, today's show is being brought to us by my book, Tom Molino, From Bondage to the Baddest Men on the Planet. It's available right now where all good books are sold. Get a copy, Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com. Thank you for joining me. I'm doing a uh, impromptu, that's why uh, I've woken no one else up, uh, a uh, uh, Noya Inoue against Marlon Taples for the undisputed, unified WBC, WBO, IBF, and WBA unified title. The fight just ended, in case you missed it. Uh, the monster, Inoue, uh, dropped and stopped, knocked out, uh, uh, to Palace in the ninth round of uh, what I thought was a very entertaining fight. He becomes only the second guy in the modern era uh, to uh, unify uh, the belts in not one but two weight divisions. Um, this is going to be a quick, short, and sweet show. Uh, I just wanted to give you my thoughts. Um, I, up to the stoppage, uh, I had, uh, uh, in a way, win in every single round. Uh, to Palace was was doing... He he was he, he landed some shots and uh, you know a couple of the rounds were close. I I, I thought uh, the fifth round was uh, was really close. Um, I thought the fourth round to Palace was actually winning a round until he was dropped uh, towards the end of the round. Uh, uh, you know I, I, the the same thing with uh, the sixth round. I, I thought that it was close, but to Palace just didn't do enough to win on my scorecard. Um, you know, I, I, listen. In a way, is in a class by himself. First of all, I, you got to give credit to both of these fighters, okay? Because you say, why, well, Billy C., why you give both of these fighters credit? I'll tell you why you give both of these fighters credit. Because there were two fighters, uh, both about 30 years old. In a way, was 30. And uh, Topalis, 31. Uh, fighting each other, putting their titles on the line, uh, facing each other. Two great fighters. Uh, willing to fight each other. They both had the balls to fight each other. And that's becoming a rarity in today's sport. And uh, I, I loved the fact that they stepped into the ring and signed the deal to begin with. So that's number one. Um, in my opinion, uh, in a way, he should be the example of what all fighters should be like uh, in today's sport of boxing. And what I mean by that is he's kind of... You know, he's kind of like, it. I, I, look, if, if you've watched this show, I, you know I'm a historian. I, I, I'm, I'm a big, big fan of fighters from yesteryear. But the argument always is the same. You know, with today's uh, modern techniques for training and nutritional uh, 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 bonuses, you know, that they, they can uh, eat better and all these other things that we've advanced just as human beings, you would think that they would take that, that throwback style, which was aggressiveness and, and, and you know, excitement and all that, and, and transform it to today. But a lot of fighters, they do have the talent, um, you know, technically, but they don't have the desire or the balls to really let it go. Um, in a way, is a great example because he does. This is a guy that's a throwback with modern uh, uh, technique, in terms of training, he comes at you. You throw, you land two punches on him, and this cat's coming back with three, four, five punches. That's why he wins these rounds. You know, when I was uh, managing fighters, and and I, I'm still looking for fighters uh, to continue with our team. That's the one thing I always say. You know, one thing. You know, no matter what, let the trainer train you. But no matter what, if a fighter hits you once, you got to hit him back three times. You know, that's your only chance. Uh, of winning on scorecards because you never know. You never know. And uh, and that's what anyway does. And, you know, I, he's he's always giving back more than he takes. And that's huge, huge, all right? Um, something all fighters should watch, okay? Um, he's uh, got monster legs. You know, how many times do you see fighters today um, that uh, they get into the ring and, and they got all the muscles in the world, right? 
uh, and their legs, the little chicken legs, you know, not so much with Inouye. And, and give Tapales credit too because, you know, this kid was a tough kid. Don't underestimate Tapales. You know, a uh, lot of credit. I'm sure he'll be back, uh, can beat uh, uh, most in, in this division, just not the best, and that's Inouye. Um, but but for all the, the message out there for all uh, young fighters is make sure you work your legs. Make sure you work your legs. Um, I got a comment uh, in the chat room. This is early, so we got, we got limited people live in the chat room. But my man Jeff says, I thought it was a solid fight card. Very interesting fight. Had to palace, had the punch and stamina to stay in the fight. He'd have a much better chance. I think he did a lot of things right. Uh, just not the stamina to keep it up. You know, he did, but you, you, you got to remember one thing, Jeff. You know, Inouye was ready. You know, this this guy, Inouye prevented uh, uh, Tapales from really shifting into a higher gear. And every time he landed, and he did land, Tapales, if, if you go back to that, what was it? Um, uh, I believe it was the sixth round. Either Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was the fifth round. There was some great body work. Uh, that started with Tapales, right? It started with Tapales, but then Inoue came comes right back and starts working the body himself enough to win the round on my scorecard. You know, forget you know, yeah. And so so you know, yes, you give Tapales credit, but this isn't a participation trophy sport, boys and girls. You know, he did everything right, but Inoue did it a little better. And the thing is, is he's ready. And again. This is my point to fighters out there, especially young fighters, because I'm not going to change the mind of any any uh, uh, veterans. But, you know, young fighters, watch this kid fight. This is everything that you want to be, you know, everything you want to be as a fighter. His defense was technical. I'm talking about it anyway. No disrespect to, 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 to Palace, but uh, the truth of the matter is is, is this show is, is really about the monster anyway because uh, this cat is the real deal, okay? I mean, he does everything right. His footwork is right. His conditioning is right. His jab, did you see such a snappy, accurate jab? And I got news for you. I watched the replay, and yeah, uh, Tapales might have slipped a little, but I think that jab should have been scored a knockdown because uh, he was trying to, he got, he, the punch landed, and as he was going back, he slipped. But that's a knockdown. That's unfortunate that you, your feet got tangled up. Uh, I believe that should have been scored a knockdown, neither here nor there at this point. Um, but uh, the other thing about Inoue that, that I noticed that you can't deny is his ring intelligence. This kid is smart. You know, um, he doesn't fall into the traps. If you noticed, he'd go in, and it seemed like the Palace was waiting to give him, you know, wait for an opening for a good counter shot, especially when he moved back against the ropes. And Inoue would, would land some shots, and all of a sudden, I don't know, some kind of subliminal message that's telling him, you know, danger, danger, Will Robinson, and he takes a step back. He just neutralizes anything that the Pallies had ready to come back at him. This is ring intelligence, boys and girls, and that's what he displayed. Look, I, I, nobody's paying me to, 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 to talk how great Inouye was, but I believe he really deserves credit where credit's due. And his due for credit is that he's one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters. I know most people had it on their uh, list, but if you really watch him fight and you keep in mind the level of his opposition, when was the last time this guy fought anybody that was a layup fight? <laughs> you know, you, you heard the, the commentating. Uh, they said that they asked him about that, and he says he, he just he doesn't feel that he can get up to it or, or whatever. He just doesn't want to waste his time with it. And, and I, I tell you something, a guy like this, at 30 years old in this weight division. Um, and, and and what else is left in this weight division? I mean, is he going to continue to move up? Is he going to ride off as, as one of the greatest? I mean, uh, I don't know. But it was a very entertaining fight. Um, in a way, improves to 26-0. Uh, 23 of his wins coming by knockout. Marlon Tapales, who I believe will be back. Uh, he drops his fourth fight of his career. He's now 37-4 and four with 19 of his wins coming by knockout. He's 31 years old. You know, he didn't seem like he had lots of mileage on him. He seemed crisp, and, uh, uh, you know, his movement was fluid. He just was in the ring with a better man tonight and uh, this morning, uh, wherever you are. But, uh, but the truth of the matter is it was a great fight, uh, and uh, uh, hats off to uh, 
uh, Nuoya anyway. Uh, it would be interesting to see what he does now. But I, in a, just to summarize, because I told you this was going to be a short and sweet show, um, the truth of the matter is, is I, I really believe that uh, fight fans, uh, managers, promoters, uh, and most importantly, fighters should watch this guy fight because he does everything very technically sound. And, um, and obviously, mentally, he's there, too. He's, he's all business. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but that's what you got to be uh, in any professional sport, but specifically boxing. So uh, hats off. In a way, uh, the new unified uh, Super Bantam Junior Feather, whatever you want to call it, champion. He now holds all four of the major sanctioning uh, uh, titles, WBC, WBO, IBF, WBA. Uh, he stopped um, Marlon Tapales uh, in the uh, ninth round via a knockout. Uh, Tapales could not get up uh, to uh, beat the count. It was a great fight. Uh, I was glad we got to see it. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy New Year, all that stuff. Uh, we will be back. There's rumor I heard a rumor that we'll be doing a blast from the past this Thursday night, 5.30 p.m. Eastern time right here uh, on the YouTube channel uh, or BillyCBoxing.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like podcasts, you know we have a version of the podcast just like this one will be. So subscribe to that too. Thanks, boys and girls. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Ciao, baby.